Hi guys, I'm doing a video on Carnival Horizon. What to do and what not to do. First, let's see, there's a lot of kids on here. I'm not gonna lie. And parents, you gotta keep your kids from knocking on the doors, running up and down the hallway, because they need some manners. But anyway, besides the point, they nickel and dime you on the horizon. Let's see. All the food is not inclusive. There's a lot of paid restaurants. Um, I went to Guy Ferrari. He has a place to eat at on this ship. And salmon, plank salmon was really good. The cobbler, it sucked. And I'm gonna write him a letter and let him know he endorsed this. I didn't like it at all, it sucked. But I did like the food. So the food won stars, the desserts did not. Okay, let's go to the dining room on the horizon. The dining room is bland. If you like spices, you better forget it. It's made for all kinds of people on the boat, so I understand it's very bland. No salt, no pepper, maybe a couple parsley's. So when you go on port, go eat. Don't waste your time. The buffet line is decent, and they have a lot of fruit. The fruit was great. The coffee was bad. But they have paid coffee, and the paid coffee is about $4 for a large. And it is on one of the floors here. Let's see what else. Um, I'm trying to think what else. They do a lot of sales during the day. But the sales are deceiving. Um, they have a lot of activity here. So I do like that. The activity was really good. Um, they have comedy shows. Two a day. Sometimes one a day. They have movies where the pool is. New movies, not old movies. One for kids at 7.30. And at 9.30 they have the adult movies. Like Avatar. Uh, the King. Let's see what else. Oh, when you go to the gym, which is included, you can get a sauna at the spa. There's a catch. If you want the spa package, it's $140. It's not included. And you get a steam room. A steam room with aroma, but it really doesn't smell like anything. You get uh, a sauna, a dry sauna, and you get an infrared dry sauna, which was really good. You get a jacuzzi inside there. You get a shower in there. Um, oh, they have these chairs that are really nice that are heated. Uh, it's good relaxing. People put, they come around you and put hot face cloths on your face. That was $140. If you get a day pass, it's $69. You might as well pay for the whole week if you like that sort of things. Otherwise, the only thing your cruise ticket pays for is one sauna, a dry sauna on a different floor, and the gym. Let's see. The food we were disappointed in, the spa we loved, the activities were great, the kids were ratty and needed manners. Um, I just think parents should control their kids a little bit. I know we're on a cruise with adults and children, but uh, some of these kids were drunk in the elevator and they were under 18, so somebody gave them alcohol. But, so I'm gonna give, we give this boat about a 2.75 stars out of five. We loved Cozumel, it was beautiful. I've been to Mexico before, in the maybe six months ago in Playa del Carmen. I hated it. This was much better. Uh, we went to Ocho Rios. Uh, had fun in Ocho Rios. We walked there, got Blue Mountain Coffee. Go two miles down the road and get your Blue Mountain Coffee. Do not get it in the port. They charge $45 a pound. I got it for $22 at a store two miles down the road. Uh, they have many activities in Jamaica if you've ever been there. I'm more partial to Montego Bay because I go there all the time, but we went to Ocho Rios. And the other place we went to is the Cayman Islands. I did a scuba dive, two tank, Yippee scuba dive. It's called Down Divers. It's in Cayman Islands, Grand Cayman Islands. It's right near the port. It was $139 for two tank dive. They provide everything unless you have your own equipment. That was great. They were lovely. The dive master was great. I saw sharks, school of all different kinds of fish. 
I got great underwater pictures. I'll put it at the end of this video. And that's gonna sum it all up. I, I came, we came on this one for spring break with, uh, we're, I mean, we have a family of six right here with us. And we thought it'd be great, so it's great for kids. But if you want an adult cruise, this is not your cruise. You need to go on the Virgin, uh, which is all adults. But for the most part, it was good. I just wish the food was a little better. And they didn't nickel and dime you. They nickel and dime you for everything. And if you want a massage or you want any treatments, don't get it here. You can go into Mexico and get a facial for $30. Here they charge you $200. Outrageous prices. Um, $499 for a body rub. I mean, just outrageous prices. So go, go out and afford it if you want a massage or anything else. Unless you really want to spend $499, then go for it. But that'll be my summary. I'll put tick pictures and some of the activities that I did on board so you can see. What I do like is you see this little skyline up here. See that little skyline above my head? It's a little uh, thing that you see. You can see it right here in my video. You pedal, it goes all the way around the ship. That's really cool. They have basketball courts, golf courts. Golf, uh, people are golfing upstairs. They have a lot of kids stuff. Kids club, three different kids clubs. They have video competitions if you're into video games. I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to help y'all guys out to make a decision in case you do want to come on Carnival Horizon. Uh, people smoking. I don't smoke, but I saw people smoking in their little spots. They're allowed to. And that should sum it all up. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you out. And if you have any questions, subscribe or ask and i'll be glad to answer have a good day hi guys i wanted to mention about vegan food if you're vegan you're gonna have a hard time one of our parties eats fish seafood but they don't eat red meat and they don't eat um chicken so for the first two days they had salad they had like chickpeas in the salad, nuts. They were good in the serenity deck for the salads. They had fruit, they had tons of fruit here, which was good. That was really all they could have. Um, because of the items that they use, it's really difficult to eat. So if you're vegan, you're gonna have a hell of a time eating here. Um, we went to the seafood deck to see if we could have some seafood and it's all fried. We don't eat fried food, so that's out of the question. So I suggest if you're vegan, you go out to every single shore and eat whatever they have because that's what we've been doing. Uh, for dinner, we pick and choose. Like an example, in the dining room tonight, they're having peach soup. It doesn't sound appetizing. They got clam chowder we would have. Uh, for dinner, the only vegetarian meal is the same thing every single night. They don't have anything else besides steak. And that is a curry, vegetarian dish that's Indian. That was That's the best dish. They have it every single night for people who are vegetarian. That's your best bet. But you're going to have it every single night because that's all they have here. Uh, fruit, salad, yogurt. Um, yogurt. They do have yogurt. And if you go to the paid restaurants, be careful. I met a guy in the steam room this morning and he said that he paid $40 for the steakhouse as a surcharge. And he said the steak was rough, it wasn't tender, and he was a little pissed that he had to pay all that money for a rough steak. So just be cautious what you spend your extra surcharges on. I'm going to show you the IMAX theater as well. I forgot about the IMAX theater. They do have a theater. There's a surcharge on that too. I'll go upstairs and show you in a bit. So what do you rate the ship? Two and a half. Out of five? Yeah. Any words of advice? Any improvements? They need to contain these kids. <laughs> these kids running up and down the ship, banging on doors, elevators. The food was all right. Could have been better. Entertainment for kids? That they did have. They had a lot of stuff for the kids to do. That's why we picked the ship. But for the next cruise, I think I'm going to go with Royal Caribbean. Thank you.
get here they change it to four dollars and eight dollars and the only thing that's a dollar is the smallest one on here they have advertisements get your last gold for a dollar an inch this false advertisement nothing's a dollar except for one item and i think it's this one actually here the smallest of all it's misleading here's the bar these are the bingo card prizes they also have lemonade and they have a water station but this lemonade is lemonade flavor because i saw the box that they poured in it this is the imax movie theater on the sixth floor these are the prices these are the prices let's see what else they have well, they have this one, this one, and this one, $69.99, Shazam of the Curry. This is the Serenity, it's peaceful, quiet, jacuzzi's over there. They have these things that you bicycle around the whole entire ship. This is what you call the steam room with aroma. It's really not steam, but these seats are hot. You sit on it and you sweat. But my opinion, the steam room is much better than this. I really don't smell anything. This is the rest of it. This is another steam room. There's a bathroom here. There's another steam room here. Cubby holes to put your stuff. Here's the waterworks for little kids. If you have any kids, oh my gosh, see all that? They have. This is the infrared sauna. They claim it's good for your face. It comes as the package. It heats up pretty hot. 